Well, good morning, everyone. It's Nicola Cairncross here today, and I want to give you some marketing tips for introverts. I'm what they call a confident introvert in that I don't have any worries about myself. I don't suffer from imposter syndrome or whatever, but I do feel depleted by big gatherings, although I absolutely love them. So I'm a social introvert as well. Don't have to be forced to get there, but once I get there and I'm standing at the bar with a glass of wine in my hand, I absolutely love them. But uh, then I have to go off to my room to have some quiet time. So if, if this resonates with you, I'm here to show you how to do content marketing effectively for introverts. OK, so the first tip is to decide which platform you're most comfortable with. And it will also which platform you use will depend on the media that you most easily create. If you are a confident introvert like me, then you're quite happy talking to camera. You can imagine that there's a person on the other side, your ideal future customer, of course, and that you're happy to, you know, inside out what their um, pains, problems and perceived solutions are. And if you don't know those things, then do go and watch my video on how to get under the skin of your customer just recently, uh, because that will show you how to know your ideal customer inside out. Yeah, so once you know what their problems, pains and perceived solutions are, what they're spending their money on to solve that problem right now that they may well want to spend with you instead, then you can then decide which platform you're going to concentrate on because the platform you're going to concentrate on most is the one where you'll focus most of your efforts and then you'll spin off your content onto all the other platforms. Yeah, as I say, you really need to know your ideal future customer inside out. Now, it, this could be easy if you've got ideal customers at the moment I'm lucky enough to have several and when I look at them they look quite disparate on the surface of it one of them is a bitcoin specialist trading in options he's highly technical highly mathematical very analytical and the other one is a Hawaiian Huna healer and she works with women spiritually orientated women who are in leadership positions who nonetheless want to uh, have a happier life and, and forgive themselves for things and also forgive other people in their lives for the wounds that they've caused. Now, you would think those two people were way, way apart, wouldn't you? But no, they're actually very similar because they're experts in their field. They've got a book that they want to publish next year. They love content marketing, but don't know how to do it or how to aim it or how to do it indeed. So they don't have to do all the, the grunt work themselves. Um, so they've got lots in common apart from their specialties, which is great. I've worked with many different kinds of experts. I've worked with many different kinds of industries. I've, one of my most notable clients was a global cement specialist, and he had his own book and he wanted to create content and he wanted to sell more of his books. And I never thought I'd hear myself saying this, but we managed to figure out a way to make cement sexy. It's not for me, it's not about what they do and what they're expert in. It's about what they have as assets and what they want to achieve. So you can find out your ideal potential future customer. And if you don't know who that is yet, just pick one, because my method of teaching means that you can cycle through different groups of people in an organized, concerted fashion to find out who indeed your ideal future customers are. I created a video on YouTube just a few videos ago that will tell you how to get under the skin of your customer. So just look for that thumbnail and it will give you some really good insights. I'm just about to produce a really much more detailed version of that about how you can actually identify who your ideal customer is and then interview them virtually without having to go away from your computer. So that's perfect for the introverts in the room. The next trick for introverts creating content is to plan your week. Ideally, you want to batch create your videos, whether that's creating 12 videos for the next three months or whether you want to do two videos a week or three a week, then the best way to do it is to batch them. Because what you'll find is that it's less energetically draining to do the work in batches. So the hardest bit for most people is to create the content. And then once the content's created, once you've got the content created, it's easy to pass it off to a team of people if you've got the funds and the budget or to spend the rest of your week once the content's created in, in um, uplifting it and customizing it and spreading it out across social media. But for introverts particularly, it's all about energy management. And that's the way I suggest you do it get into the flow with one particular kind of task and then move on to the next task and get into the flow with that. As I say, it's really crucial to know what kind of an introvert you are. There are some notable business introverts. Some of my favorites are Elon Musk, who you, you, he's a confident introvert, all right, because he's everywhere, but he's actually an introverted person. 
and Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek's another one. He's absolutely brilliant at going on things like podcasts and interviewing and being interviewed. And that's how he does it. I love to interview people on podcasts and I love to be interviewed on podcasts. So that's a really great for me to create content and get the word out about my business without actually having to leave the house. Having said that, I do, as I say, like speaking in public. So you might find that you can speak in public, but you would absolutely be horrified at standing in the bar afterwards. But I used to know someone called Jill Fielding, who was on Channel 4's Secret Millionaire first series. And she was a fantastic speaker, but she would never go into the room first. She would just appear on the stage and she would very rarely be seen afterwards. So she would go off to her room or go home again because she didn't like the social aspect of it too much. So find, you know, think, really think about how you work. And I heard a great analogy. It's about coins. So if you had to go into a social event, would you have to spend a coin to do it or would in terms of your energy or would it would it give you a coin to do it? Does it fill up your energy going into a social situation, in which case you're an extrovert? Or does it take take does it deplete your energy going into a social situation, in which case you're an introvert and you just have to work out how to manage it? One of the things that carries you through as an introvert, especially when it comes to content creation, is your passion for your subject. I hope you can tell that I'm absolutely mad about entrepreneurs. I'm mad about entrepreneurs. I'm mad about business. I'm always talking to taxi drivers about business when I go on holiday. I want to know how people's business works. And I absolutely love talking about entrepreneurship, business, marketing, content marketing, social media marketing. I absolutely love the topic. I'd never get tired of it. And I'm always on the lookout for better ways to do it. For example, I've been up to my neck in chat GPT recently because I can see it's not about the fact that it's going to annihilate the human race. It's about the fact that it can make the human race's jobs a lot easier in the meantime. So whatever the ultimate outcome is, I'm going to be there using chat GPT to, to facilitate my passion for entrepreneurship, business and marketing and helping business owners to become more effective at their marketing using things like chat GPT. And I've also got another one I use regularly too, which helps me with my content production by uploading audio from the video so that it can then spin off the show notes, the chapters, the transcription and all that stuff. So I'm really getting into um, artificial intelligence generally as to how it can help you, the introverted business owner, to facilitate your content pr production and your social media marketing. Another quick tip is always have something to sell. You'd be amazed at how many people book a consultation with me from my website at nicolacarenext.com and they haven't got anything to sell. They go straight to say a big ticket item or a one week retreat or they, they want to sell their books on Amazon, but they haven't got any, any way of doing that. They haven't got a publisher. They don't know how to put books on Amazon in the first place. Hint. Talk to me. I know how to do it. I've done 11 books on Amazon so far. But you have to have something to sell and you have to have a way. There's a big tip for you. You have to have a way of telling how effective your marketing is and what it converts at. Because as soon as you know that you're making a profit on your marketing, that's the holy grail. If you can spend a pound to get a pound or two pounds or 10 pounds even better, then you know that you can ramp up your, your efforts and your, your you can amplify your social media content marketing by um, pay-per-click. And I'm not talking about pay-per-click ads where people you know only pay if they click through. I'm talking about boosting your social media content to the right kind of audience so that you can get in front of many more people. But you can only do that when you know that every pound you spend is going to bring you back one pound, two pound, ten pounds. But it starts with having something simple and low cost to sell. And a clear call to action at the, at the end of every piece of content is essential. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a clear call to action. Can you please like and subscribe and comment on this video if you've enjoyed it? Can you please ask me questions in the comments? I always answer them directly and I answer them myself. And I love to hear from people who are watching my videos. And the other thing is come over to Nicola Cairn X. Dot com. There's loads of great stuff over there. There's loads of um, there's loads of books. There's a couple of courses. You can join my academy and I'd love to work with you. So create if you're an expert of any kind and you're passionate about your business. It doesn't matter whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, but I do specialize in working with introverts. I would love to see you over there and see you on the next one.